Welcome back to Star Sector, folks. We are heading for this uh, 51,000 bounty and then for this 40,000 bounty. So, and we are basically here for this one. It should be up here, I think. Yes, there it is. And we will move in to engage. And we will deploy U3. That takes it down to a one star, but I'm okay with that. It's early days. Uh, now, what it means is I won't get that much reputation out of it. Well, I won't get any, I think. Uh, I might actually even get negative reputation, but I can live with that in these early days. Uh, I think the reputation thing is going to get more important a little bit later in the game. Okay, let's take you out. There you go. Bye bye. Let's take you out. Let's try to do. Let's take you out there. Let's put my shields up. Back off and get some venting done. Ow. Ow. Don't like that. fast. Victory. Everything got destroyed. Nothing I want to recover. They are way too demoted for me. Let's go with the wreckage. We got yeah, we got some uh, heavy machinery which we were completely out of. We got a heavy auto cannon, lighthouse, and monogram railgun. Okay, and we are over capacity. Okay, that's that one done. Now, I would love to go exploring, but it's not really great for us to explore right now because we don't have the heavy machinery for it and stuff like that. We'll do a quick save after the combat here because safety. And then we'll head for this personal bounty out here and she is at a windy, arid world in a system with a dwarf primary star. So I guess we'll start with this one. 
And then we'll head over here. If, it's, if she's not in that one, then we'll head up there, there, and there. Okay. This is a low warning beacon, not too scary. Now I do want our ships to be fully repaired. This is a low warning system as well, not too scary. Uh, let's just, that was, didn't sound good. There was a warning there, but let's just take a look at our fleet. Are we fully repaired? We're not, there's four days left. Do we want to hang out here for four days? Don't think so, uh, because there's also only 23 days left on her, but we will go ahead and level up our character. Minus 25% fuel consumption, sounds good to me. And what about you? Do you have a level? No, you do not. Alright, let's try and jump in here. Gas giant. What do we have here? Orbital habitat, minor equipment cache. Whoa! Uh, let's get out of here. That was a bounty, but looked like a too big bounty for us. What bounty is in here? Doesn't look like there's a bounty in here. Combat care. Oh, let's take a look. Take all that. We'll head up to this. Uh, What's that? Mining station. Uh, you know what? Leave because. While I would love to check out that mining station, we don't have the cargo capacity, we don't have the heavy equipment. So I actually forgot to say, is there a windy, arid world in here? No. Okay, good. I just panicked because of the other one. So we'll head over there and see if there's a windy, arid world there. But that system, what's it called? Sagon, that is definitely something we want to come back to. Let's head down here. And ooh, there's a Windy Earth world there. Let's lay in a course for that. And we'll do a quick save before we get there. Just in case. Go, go, save. There we go. And what's this? It's a Aurora class cruiser. Now that is a nice ship. We still have enough space, so let's see. Is she here? Is she here? Yes, she is. Alright. So she has a Groundhog, heavy, heavy close support frigate. She has a Cerberus, a Wolf, a Hound, and a Kite. Okay. Well, if we... We could deploy just two and get two stars, but like I said, I don't really care about that right now. I just want to win, get some money, and get some bigger ships. And then we can start working on the other stuff. Okay, here we go. Let's target her. The wolf is getting frisky. Why not target that? out of range. Let's try and destroy that little guy. 
why he's too fast for us, though. Come on. Fine, if you want to run away, then run away. You're not my true target. She is. seconds remaining on that overload. God damn it, get out of my way. down. What's left? The wolf, I guess. Yes. So let's just go full assault. Yes. We'll speed up this. There we go. Claim victory. The kite got away. Let's pursue it. Through the wreckage. Ooh, a prisoner. That's 5,000 right there. And some crew as well. We'll take everything. And that's way too much, so we'll drop off that. And we'll confirm and continue. All right. Now, I would love to survey this world, but we don't have what we can or what we need to do it. But we do now have 124,000, which is really nice. There aren't any bounties that we can do right now. So let's head uh, home to Nim. And we'll see what we can do about getting another ship. We do have another, actually we have two character points to spend. So we'll get that. Alrighty. And we're on our way home. Outstanding. But we're out of supplies though, which is not outstanding. We need to get home as fast as we can. I thought we had more supplies than this, to be honest.
go, let's go. Because we are not doing any repairs or anything right now. And that is not good. So we just need to get home as fast as possible. At least it's not fuel that we're out of. Because that was, would leave us drifting in space. So... There's home. I guess we'll head to this one. What a jump. And Noom is right there. Oh, that's my station. Whew. Alright, we'll... On the open market, we'll sell that. And... That's fine, then we'll go into storage. We'll store up the prisoner there. Confirm. And then we'll buy a full tank of gas. We'll buy... Some of that. Well, not 90, maybe 80. So we have a bit of space for some... Some heavy machinery. Okay. Now, let's take a look at buy buying some ships. Tarima Destroyer. Two medium energy, two small em energy, and then it has two built-in Veritas, whatever they do. That seems pretty interesting. And that costs the same in both places. Then we have an Etrika Heavy Destroyer. One large energy, two medium energy, two medium hybrid, and four small energy. It's only a little bit more expensive than the Tarima. What do we have on the black market? Atelier Light Carrier. Don't carries one fighter though. But the carrier might actually be interesting. Four enemy and three fighter bees. Three fighter bees, not one fighter bee, three fighter bees. So that could actually be very, very interesting. It's also quite a bit more expensive though. So I think what I want to do is I want to buy the Tarima. Yeah, and we'll refit it. Uh, actually, fleet. And put it there. Refit. So, what do these Veritases do? Uh, well, seemingly nothing more than an oversized Gauss cannon. This unique weapon is designed to fire specialized two stage kinetic shells with hyper-compacted explosives capable of bursting open armor with surprising ease. Okay. So range 1000, damage 400, damage a second 114. It's actually quite nice. So we have two medium energy turrets. What do we have? Large pulse beam. 100% Spurs Shields on Armor. Then we have the Plasma Driver, which is really freaking nice, but I only have one of them, and I can't get another. So I think I'll do the two large Pulse Beams, or largest Pulse Beams. And then on the small... I guess we'll do the Irregular Pulse Lasers. We don't, there's nothing else here that will fit except the tack laser, and we only have one of them. So I think this will be our destroyer. Uh, we will... It has the integrated null space conduits. Let's see. Let's get it up to a reasonable...
Hmm. Well, that's maxed out. It cost eight. I only have two. Uh, so if we do that. Then we're at 650 instead of 590. That's just not worth it. I think this is much more worth it. Could be that it's actually worth doing something like this instead. That could be. I think we'll try this. I think we'll try this. Okay, so that gives us a new ship, and that means that you get to fly it. Because it's a bit of a bigger ship, and you actually have a level up. Uh, we've got evasive action two, and evasion action, evasive action three because that's more useful right now for you. Okay, now crew. We need more. If we get 40 more, that takes us well above. Let's just get one more 90. We fill up on fuel. We'll get some more supplies. Alrighty. Now, is there a cargo ship or a freighter? There is. How much can it carry? 300. I might get that. I think I will. Let's refit you. We probably want military subsistence on you. We want expanded cargo holds on you. Sure, that's fine. I don't care about kidding you out for a fight. Fleet, we still have more than enough crew. We actually didn't need any crew for this. And the skeleton crew required zero, nice. So that means that we now have space for some, well, a lot more stuff, which is awesome. We have enough of this stuff, I think. We will fill up on fuel, but we want some heavy machinery. And then we want, I think, to head back and explore some of those systems that had some interesting stuff in it in them because that looked interesting especially the sagon system that looked very interesting uh, now bounties what's down there what about these fifty-seven thousand? Pirate base for a hundred thousand. I don't think we can do a pirate base yet, to be honest. But this fifty-seven thousand, we might be able to do. I think we are. There's sixty-six days left. This we definitely cannot do. This is a Sindarin or the Diablo ships, but they have. So he's a defector or something? Bad disorder, yeah. 
Stole their ships, bastard. There's also this one. 57,000, 76 days remaining. A badger, mule, wolf. Six days, but that's a lot closer. But I really want. I really want some uh, heavy machinery. So I think we'll head down to Corsica and visit uh, Sidonia down there. See if Tritachion has some heavy machinery there, and then we'll head up and do that mission so we'll repair our ships 97 supplies okay that leaves us with not a whole lot of money left so we'll do the mission first or the bounty first and then we'll head down there there's actually some debris down here it seems let's see if we can get some There's one heavy machinery. There's no heavy machinery. No heavy machinery. Let's head over here. I'm not even sure this is worth it. It's not. This is Talos, so let's just head to Talos and see. No, nope, no heavy machinery. Uh, Six hundred and let's just get that. And three crew. All right, leave. Where's there a port? There's one right there. And let's lay in a course for this bounty up here. Cadence Brady. I do have two destroyers, but so do I now. So she is near a Baron Bombarded World in a system with a yellow primary star. That would be you. So we're gonna head up there. And in the next one we will go in and engage. So thank you very much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.